Flip City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby coming at you on a winter wonderland day here in Evanston, Illinois, about to go into Sam's Club. And maybe it's appropriate that it's so blustery and snowy out because it's a magical occasion. We're going to Sam's Club for the first time because I heard you, I heard you family members. You kept saying, Bobby, you've done so many Costco hauls. Can you please do a Sam's Club haul? And I get it because a lot of people live in Walmart country. What is Walmart country? That means if you live near a Walmart or the headquarters, you don't have a Costco anywhere near you you only got a Sam's Club. So I'm a little nervous because I feel like it's not going to be quite as good as Costco, but I have an open mind and so does Art. Before we get in there and do our magical haul, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, share, all those lovely things. But the most important thing is wearing a hat today, which I didn't do, and also enabling the bell notification right below the video. You want to get pushes as soon as we go live because we have so much content going, you don't want to miss it. All right, let's go in there. I think we have to get a guest pass or something because I'm not a member. Hopefully they let us in and we'll do our thing. Wow, the first thing that Art and I noticed is there are a ton of snacks here at uh, Sam's Club and more candy and junk food than uh, Costco has for sure. I don't wanna focus on that, I wanna focus on the healthy snacks. So immediately my eye comes here to potato chips. What do I mean by a healthy potato chip? Well, we talked about that in the snack video a few weeks ago. I'm looking for what kind of oil the potato is fried in, and this is one of the better ones. This is Boulder Canyon never seen a bag this big and i see olive oil and i want to make sure it's just olive oil not blended and sure enough it is three ingredients i love it potatoes olive oil and sea salt why is this important we oftentimes find good quality potatoes even organic potato chips fried in refined highly processed oils you might see organic sunflower oil but unless it's expeller pressed it's garbage in my opinion what's better than sunflower or expeller pressed canola oil olive oil so these to me are top in class along with those avocado kettle chips we talked about a couple weeks and for 5.98 for a big what is this 24 ounce bag that's winning life right and then art let's flip sides here art and i first of all we loved this uh, assembly here because it goes on top of the other lid and doesn't slide around whoever thought about that you get an a plus love this price of six dollars for members mark chicharrones or fried pork skins art and i were like what's original flavor and it's basically no flavor it's pork right art right. <laughs> um i don't love these but i'd still take them because this is probably factory farmed pork the kind of pork that never are free to forage uh, eat gmo grain that being said the only other alternative that might be a little better is a company called 4505, which they sell a big bag of that at uh, Costco. It's not pasture raised, but I think it is more certified uh, humane. This is more factory farm, but I'm still okay with that. So I would scoop that and make uh, breadcrumbs out of it, like for my bread, uh, for my keto uh, coconut shrimp fried with a sriracha mayo sauce. So that's really cool. Art has his eye on this though, right Art? Art has never seen an Utz cheese ball that big in his life. Um, let's continue down here and see what else they got. By no means are these kind of snacks Bobby approved, but I will give credit to um, Simply. It's like Doritos, they make Simply uh, Lay's. They also make Simply Tostitos now, and they make an organic blue corn tortilla chip that has best in class ingredients. It's organic blue corn, uh, expeller pressed sunflower oil and sea salt. It's actually better than a lot of other premium brands I've seen. Um, and they're cleaning up Doritos and stuff like that. Those aren't Bobby approved, but I wanted to give a special shout out to those uh, Tostitos. And they have these at Costco too. And you might think they're gonna be good because it says it's a chickpea veggie crisp here, but we always read the ingredients, right? And instead of chickpeas being number one, it's rice flour, which is a simple starch compared to chickpea, which is a complex, and there's sunflower oil, it's not expeller press. So not something I would get, but just a good case of don't take something by its cover, you gotta read the ingredients. And there's a lot of stuff here that's like that. So I would say Costco has uh, Sam's Club beat in the snack aisle, but there is one sweet treat that's pretty decent. I wanna end on in this aisle, so let's go over there. And here's what I was talking about. You know at Costco, they have those Eno food clusters. This is kind of their version here at Sam's Club. It's organic coconut bites, and it's a bunch of seeds and coconuts. Now, if you look at the ingredients, it's pretty clean. Everything's organic. It's got coconut. It has, right, chia seeds, which I, which I like, but like you know, it has a touch of cane sugar there, but how much? We're talking about four grams, which is one teaspoon of added sugar for half a cup serving, and it's a blend of brown rice syrup and cane sugar, so while not ideal, it's pretty much on par with the Eno Foods at Costco, and if you want a sweet treat, hey, it's way better than that Milky Way box or that Twix box I see over there, so this isn't bad. Okay, let's move out of snacks and onto something else. 
All right, they have a good selection of ground beef here, but this is the best I found right here. They have fresh ground grass-fed beef, whereas Costco, you know, doesn't have fresh. They only have the frozen. This is not just grass-fed. It's organic, too. The problem is I don't see where it says 100% grass-fed or grass-fed, grass-finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email them before this video comes out and find out. The thing is, the price is pretty good. $4.88 is cheaper than Aldi, which has the cheapest price on fresh ground beef that is grass-fed. The frozen one at Costco is $3.88, so not as cheap as that, but Costco doesn't have the fresh, only the frozen. So if this is 100% grass-fed, this is a great deal. There's a lot of dangers in spreadable butter, but Sam's Club actually has one of the best spreadable butters that have clean ingredients. First of all, it's Kerrygold, so it's uh, milk from grass-fed cows. Remember, Kerrygold is Irish dairy law. It's grass-fed 80% of the year. Still way better than almost anything on the market. But what's so great about this is, look, they don't add any nasty canola oil or palm oil. It's just naturally softer with real cream and salt. Look at the price here. 810 for a 1.1 pound tub. This is great because every other spreadable butter on the market uses really nasty oils and this one doesn't. I would scoop that all day. Let's take a quick break from the video and thank today's sponsor, Four Sigmatic, who is a longtime supporter of the channel and I am a longtime user of their products because they believe in the power of functional mushrooms. Mushrooms like reishi and cordyceps and they infuse them in so many awesome products like my favorite protein powder, coffees, elixirs, and teas. And right now they have a crazy sale going on that only happens once a year that I'll talk about in a second. But I believe in functional mushrooms because they support overall health, brain boost, abilities, immune system support, and they have so many products infused with these superfood mushrooms. So go to their website over at Four Sigmatic, check out the coffees. They have some awesome mushroom infused coffees and no, the coffees don't taste like mushrooms. You just get the mushroom benefits. They have elixirs like a golden turmeric elixir that I love to drink at night. But one of my favorite products on their website is this. It's the superfood protein with uh, mushrooms. This is a plant-based protein powder with next level ingredients, a wild whopping 18 grams of protein, no natural flavors. This is fantastic. Sometimes I add a scoop of cacao powder to this. If you want to sweeten up, add some monk fruit. This is a fantastic product. And right now they have their winter sale going on. You can get this protein powder along with a bunch of other for up to 50% off. And if you use my promo link down below in the description box, you'll get an additional 15% on top of that. If it seems like I'm excited, I am because this is such a great uh, product and the discount right now is crazy. So you guys, Check them out. They have so many fantastic products. I know you're going to like and take advantage of that sale. It's only going on for a few days with my promo link down below. And mad love to Foresightmatic for sponsoring the video. You guys, I just checked every part of the frozen section here. I didn't see anything that was really good, which is a bummer because if you saw the video last week of the frozen food at Costco, we saw a ton of great stuff. So Costco has Sam's Club beat in the frozen section for sure. Let's kind of meander into the middle aisles here. And I saw something immediately that's great. This is the Sam's Club version of Wisps or Parmesan crisps. So a member's mark, Parmesan crisps. If you're low carb or gluten free, this is your jam. Why? It's basically a one ingredient cracker. Look at that. All it is is Parmesan cheese. What's so great about it? There's zero carbs here. So this is a staple in the low carb community. What's the price here? Check it out, Art. $9.76 for a 9.5 ounce bag. I feel like it's pretty similar to Costco, but this is really good here. Um, I'm leery, but let's go through the other middle aisles here and see if we can find some more high quality stuff. So unlike Costco, they don't have any avocado oil mayonnaise, which is a bummer. All they have is the traditional stuff with highly processed oils. What do I mean by that? Grab any one of these here. This is Kraft mayonnaise and punch in on the ingredients. Instead of avocado oil, which is heart healthy, we have GMO, highly processed, highly inflammatory soybean oil. We have natural flavors and all of the standard mayos will have calcium disodium EDTA. And it says to protect flavor, and it is, but it's a preservative. It's a pretty harsh preservative that prevents rancid smells like oil or eggs from smelling. So this is not the kind of stuff you want to get. The avocado oil one, the big uh, Sir Kensington at Costco is lights out. And then I see behind Art is tomato sauce. And I don't see Rayos. Oh, you know I love that big thing of Rayos from Sam's Club. But they do have, oh, thank you, from uh, Costco. They do have some organic members mark marinara. Let's read the ingredients together here, right? 
So organic tomato puree. Hello, extra virgin olive oil and real ingredients. Look at that. All thriller, no filler, no added sugar, like a ragu or a prego. The only thing is, let's go back and look. What's the first ingredient? It's tomato puree. And we talked about this in other videos. If you look at good quality ones like Rayo's, uh, Cucina Antica, Lucini, it's whole stewed tomatoes, or sometimes San Marzano stewed tomatoes. Tomato puree is what they do for this. It's what they do for, oh my God, it's heavy. Classico. Uh, it's what they do for ragu. It's generally an inferior tomato. That being said, this is best in class here at Sam's Club. Oh my God, a three pack? For 534, that is ridiculous. So not great, but it is the best here at Sam's Club. But come on, I'm a Rayos, Team Rayos guy, right? We have a pretty decent selection of oil here. And let's start with the big old tub of not just organic, but also virgin cold pressed coconut oil, 56 ounce container for 998 correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that it's the same price as costco which i really like this is my preferred coconut oil they do make a refined coconut oil that has a little bit of processing and that processing takes out some of the coconut flavor but this extra virgin coconut oil is the best i love the flavor i love the mcts i love the lauric acid which is really good for your heart great stuff waldo and we're clear coconut oil good to go back it up just a couple steps here yeah baby avocado oil a big 34 ounce container for hello 7.99 great price um roughly the same price as costco too and way cheaper than buying it at any grocery store but look at this art it says 100 percent pure cold pressed and it's my understanding that avocado oil is either centrifuge expressed or expeller pressed not really cold pressed so i got to find out either way this is great it's a neutral flavored oil that's heart healthy and it's way better than cooking in something like that canola oil which is also a high heat oil that has no flavor this is just so much heart healthier but art just saw the deal of possibly the century this is toasted sesame oil a ginormous 34 ounce bottle look at this clearance price are you kidding me? I'm just, I have to buy it just for the fact that it's so cheap. $2.91, normally $8. You guys, normally like a Trader Joe's, a bottle, a tiny bottle is $2.99. The problem is I'll never use it. This is toasted sesame oil. So it's sesame seeds that are toasted and then pressed. It has a very strong flavor. You typically don't cook with this. You finish with it or make like uh, dressings, but oh my God, that's amazing. And then they actually have a decent extra virgin olive oil here. I would get this one the members mark Italian extra virgin olive oil. Cause once you start to go to the budget ones like this, this could be a blend of a bunch of inferior oils from around the world that you don't know about. So even though this is cheaper, EVEOO is something you really want to get quality one. And I would get that. And unfortunately they don't have any good spray bottles here that are non aerosol. They only have the chemical propellant ones. So I would stay away from that. So decent, right? Pretty decent. Uh, oil selection here. Once again, not quite up to Costco snuff though. This, my friends, is what I like to see. A big old three pound bag of fine ground sifted almond flour. This is fantastic for a keto paleo kitchen. Also fantastic. Look at the price. It's $13.44 for three pounds. Comes out to $4.48 per pound. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Costco's about $4.20 or $4.30. So pretty much the same price per pound and easily half the price of any other grocery store. I would scoop this. By the way, it doesn't have to be organic. I get that question a lot. They don't spray the trees. They spray the ground around there. Or an organic would be nice, but totally not necessary. And this is a great deal between here and Costco. The best deal I've ever seen on almond flour. We got a couple options for milk and actually the members mark have organic whole milk. You guys know I love whole milk here. It is ultra pasteurized, which I don't love, but I do love the fact that it's the whole milk and it's organic, meaning the cows are not eating GMO grains, but we actually have two organic. What's the price? That's a pretty good price. You guys and We're talking about a gallon for 678, but come over here. Art. I'd rather get you get this because this is not ultra pasteurized and it's organic. It's whole milk. It has the omega-3 fatty acids we talked about. It's not a big deal because this is actually an inferior, in my opinion, synthetic omega-3 fatty acid. It also makes the milk taste a little bit fishy as Art has attested in the past, but still, I'd probably go with this one. 
It's not too bad to get that one either, but these are by far your best milk options because they're organic and organic dairy rules, just like Odul. Wow, this is interesting regarding salmon here. First off, there's two different prices. This is the price per pound if you want skinless. So they actually take the skin off you, which they don't do at Costco. But look at this. This is the price for skin on. So it's cheaper, you know, with the skin on. And I love skin anyway, because that's where the omega-3 fatty acids are. The problem is the farm-raised salmon is from Chile. And we have a whole video about that. Chile doesn't have the best farming practices. And the ones from Costco are actually from uh, Norway, which have better farming practices. So I would actually go with that at Costco, even though 848 is, uh, or I'm sorry, 748 is cheaper than the price of 9.99 at uh, Costco. It's all about where the farm comes from because that really matters in the quality of salmon. All right, family, the long-awaited Sands Club haul is done. I mean, Art, push comes to shove. Are you on Team Costco or Team Sam? I'm happy to be Costco. I'm happy too, but I understand, right? No, not everyone has a Costco close to you. If you live in Walmart country, this is your go-to. And while it's not as good as Costco, there are some good buys here at fantastic prices. So you guys, that is it. We're done. Like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing the way it has is by you spreading the love. Art and I have two more videos going down below us right now, including a Walmart one, in case you haven't seen it. Uh, but we will see you very soon. Until then, I'll be saying to you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.